hello welcome back to the channel uh, ladies and gentlemen um, I really appreciated you watching uh, today I'm gonna react to another request uh, from a guy or girl named Rojo um, it's been on the list for a while and I said you know let's put it out there um, they want me to react to Burstein or Burstein I don't know how to pronounce that and the title is in Russian so I not you can even try it um, so this is a band from the Eastern Front, uh, this is a band from, let's see, Ukraine I think, yeah Ukraine. This is released from 2017 um, and it's considered pagan black metal, so that's interesting, so let's give it a go here. I All, all the bands I hear from the Ukraine and most of the time are fantastic, so I'm looking forward to hear this one. Don't know it, so... Uh, Total surprise for me. Here we go here with a one, two, three. Oh, nice song. Good production. Nice double kicks. pause it here I really like how it started definitely with a double kicks and the tremolo picking riff trying to get you along through the song it's really nice uh, I love the way the production sounds every bit everything is audible but still loud in the mix it's not like a cheap production or anything so that's really interesting uh, they really took the effort to to make a good sound so that's fantastic um, I'm looking forward to hear some vocals or something like that so uh, let's uh, let's continue here
about it here, man, I'm a sucker for, for songs like this, of the lengthy dragging um, songs with a lot of melody adding uh, and drag you away into, you know, a certain, certain, um, a certain way. Um, it definitely has some great, great melodies in here. Double. You know, double kicks, good riffing, melodies from both guitar players, I think. Or it must be double layered, that can also be the case. Uh, there's a nice bass tone, although it's a little bit, bit buried uh, underneath all those kick drums and, uh, and guitar riffing. Although it's audible, uh, don't get me wrong, I can hear you. Uh, and it feels like there's something keyboardy added to it as well. Little, little subtle, not way overpowering everything. And then that vocal is, is nice, harshy uh, scream. I like it. Um, not too far in the past, not too well, too much in the front. Just good enough where it should be. Not taking all the spaces or. Um, you know what I mean. Um, so they really thought about the production, definitely. Um, yeah, interesting song. Um, more to come. It's a lengthy song, so I don't want to ramble too long. Let's continue. <laughs> Yeah. 
straight out here. Well, what can I say, guys? Um, interesting, really dragging, lengthy um, song. This is definitely a song that is on an album that you have to sit down for and listen to closely and enjoy with a nice drink on it on the sofa and get your way to another journey. Uh, that kind of feel it has to me, the long, epic, um, dragging journey um, it has moments of pride in it you know you can feel it and, 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 and. but also more melancholic to the end so that's really nice um, you know, like I said I like the double kicks the, the treble part rest but also the more um, straightforward if without the double kicks is supported by some nice guitarists um, yeah, really, really nice song. Like the vocals, uh, lo love the uh, that the band uses their own language to to sing in because it definitely gives a more authentic uh, feel to it. Um, yeah, nice. I, I really, really um, want to look up more from this. I was not familiar with this Ukrainian band, but uh, thank you, do it for uh, or well, I don't know Rojo. Um, for, for putting this out to me, I um, definitely look forward to give this more uh, more spins and um, check out all the songs from the album and might pick up the album if I can find it. It's probably hard, but we'll see where it goes. Um, yeah, great. I don't know where if this band with a big label or anything. Uh, I don't have a clue. Um, should we give it a try? I don't know. I'm just gonna look it up. Um, it's already a lengthy video, so what the hell? I don't fucking care. Uh, let's see. Bersh S H A S H. Let's see where they're at. Ukraine. The book got the hux. I don't have a clue what this is on. This album, I think. Yes, and really the buck got the hat. I don't know that label actually. Um, it's a Ukrainian label. How surprising! And all the releases are from <laughs> the band. Is it the band's own label or what? I don't know. It's interesting. It doesn't say who is the owner or anything, so uh, gun roster. Only one band in the roster. So um, I presume it's their own uh, thing. Is there a members we know from other bands in here? You never know. We have to look. There are in other bands, but most of the bands I don't have a clue on. Actually, there are not really familiar names. I only know. The current live drummer is called Old Dolph and he is in Elderblood. That's a band I know and he's also in Nocturnal Mortem. So that's our two bands I know. But um, from the other members, I haven't got a clue. So uh, yeah, anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this lengthy Dragon track. Um, let me know your thoughts. It's something different than all the kawaii stuff. And uh, me definitely wanted to react to this one because um, you have to support some great Ukrainian black metal, right? So, thanks for watching. Um, sorry that the video is so long, but um, yeah, sometimes you need a band to, to give some attention. So, uh, so here it is. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thanks for the request, and see you guys next time.